Hello guys, welcome back to the aviary. In this episode, we will discuss one type of bird that, it is said, is not suitable for living in the aviary because of its predatory nature. Many people say they also often attack small birds. At least that's the assumption that circulates about these birds. But on the other hand, some people say that these birds are leaders of other birds. They often give a warning code if they find danger. What do you think is the correct assumption? To find out, let's talk about these birds. They are the greater racket-tailed drongo. It's the aviary! Okay guys, okay guys, now we're going to release the greater racket-tailed drongo, and we're going to release the male and female birds. We'll see their reaction. Okay, three good. It is the greater racket-tailed drongo. Let's lure him out first. Oh. Okay, next is the female greater racket-tailed drongo. The tail is shorter. The male bird is ready to welcome. Wow, she's straight out. Greater Racket-tailed Drongo The Greater Racket-tailed Drongo or Dicorus paradisius is a species of medium-sized bird. Even so, they are among the largest sized birds among the drongos. They have a characteristic of a pair of antennas at the end of their long tails. The antennas look similar to two large hornets chasing the Greater Racket-tailed Drongo as they fly. Their tails can also make a humming sound when they fly. In addition, these birds also have a crest on their head, which makes their appearance look dashing. The greater racket-tailed drongo has different crest shapes and sizes, depending on their subspecies, of which there are 13 in total. The Brachophorus and Bangi subspecies in Borneo, for example, don't have a crest. In contrast, the Placerus race in Sumatra has a short crest. The crest of the greater racket-tailed drongo is an extension of the feathers on its crown. Only adult birds have a crest, while young birds still don't have it. Juvenile birds' plumage also appears paler than that of adult birds. Meanwhile, adult birds are blessed with shiny bluish-black feathers. Their bill is black, equipped with red eyes. Their body length, from the tip of the head to the tip of the antenna, is about 30 centimeters. The greater racket-tailed drongo is a non-migratory bird. They are birds native to Asia, with a distribution area extending from South Asia, East Asia, and Southeast Asia. They can be found in India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, China, Indochina, Thailand, Myanmar, Malaysia, to Indonesia. These birds generally prefer moist areas, but some subspecies prefer dry habitats, such as the subspecies Salonicus in Sri Lanka. In general, the habitat of the greater racket-tailed drongo consists of evergreen forest, bamboo forest, mangrove forest, plantation, and swamp. 
The altitude of their habitat varies depending on the location. For example, in the Malay Peninsula, they are commonly found at an altitude of 800 meters above sea level, about 1,400 meters above sea level in China, and 1,500 meters in India. Suppose there are two different subspecies of the greater racket-tailed drongo in their habitat. In that case, they will usually avoid each other. But a different case occurred in the Indian regions. The greater racket-tailed drongo can generally live together in one group despite being different subspecies. The diet of active birds during the day and evening today consists of insects, fruit, and nectar. They are used to flying and snatching their prey in the air, mainly if they hunt insects. They are also often seen down the river searching for food or chasing their partners. The greater racket-tailed drongo likes to live in pairs. However, sometimes they live in small groups, either with other species or with different species, such as babblers and treepies. The greater racket-tailed drongo is a very territorial bird. They are brave birds. If there are birds that arbitrarily enter their territory, they will not hesitate to attack. They even dare to attack crows, eagles, or other larger birds. Therefore, to monitor their territory, they often perch on the tops of tall trees. So, the greater racket-tailed drongo is not a predator. They are territorial, vicious, and brave. These birds breed once a year. Their breeding season varies depending on the region. However, they generally tend to mate between February and July. They will form small groups during the mating season to choose a mate. And usually, they are more aggressive and territorial in the breeding season. One of the courtship behaviors of these birds is dropping an object and catching it in the air. That way, their potential partner will be impressed. A male and female greater racket-tailed drongo will work together to build a bowl-shaped nest made of leaves and roots glued together with spider webs. They also often decorate their nests with lichens to disguise the nest from predators such as snakes. After mating, the female will produce one to four creamy white eggs with brown spots. The greater racket-tailed drongo is a bird with a melodious chirp. When they are in groups, they like to chirp each other, making their voices sound like a beautiful orchestra in the middle of the forest. They are also good at imitating the sounds of other birds, including those of raptors. They are even able to replicate alarm calls from other birds accurately. They use their cleverness in mimicry to have fun, steal prey, or thwart predators. We have evidence of when the greater racket-tailed drongo gathered other birds after the greater racket-tailed drongo gave a warning sign of an impending threat. <laughs> On gathering, here, there is a brown-cheeked bulbul. What are the birds that congregate? Goose. There is a straw-headed bulbul. <laughs> Blue-winged leaf bird. Grossbeak starling. Greater green leaf bird. Manyar. Manyar. Sunbirds. Streaky breasted spider hunter. He keeps calling. The leader above is calling. So it's proven, right? The title of leader of the birds deserves to pin on the greater racket-tailed drongo. It's not an official title, but still. Fortunately, the greater racket-tailed drongo is still in the least concern category on the IUCN list. 
Their wide distribution area also supports their abundant population. That's the information about the greater racket-tailed drongo. I hope this video can be helpful for you. Don't forget to press the like and subscribe buttons and activate the notification bell so you don't miss updates from the aviary. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.